Hello again, everyone. Today I wanted to profile some new customized pans for the Portable Painter Palette. Um, and those of you that don't know, the Portable Painter Palette that has two sizes. There's a micro, which is uh, quite a bit smaller than this one. And then this is the regular size. And both these two separate sets are for, this one's for the micro, and this is for the, um, the full size version. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link to my video where I filled my micro portable palette because I don't I don't have it here handy to, right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a link to that video where I had actually used some custom pans from Poems About You, and it's really kind of funny that uh, Portable Painter issued some of its own customizable pans for that palette. So I'll show you this and then I'll show you the um, ones for the full size palette. You'll be able to see the micro a little bit better in that video that I linked. So basically these customized palettes are um, half, half pans. Actually, this might be a little bigger than half pans because they certainly would not fit in here. I think these are specifically custom to the micro. So you could put two of these in each, is it two or three? Maybe three? I don't know. You, you should <laughs> you should look at their website and how many in the illustrations that they put in there, how many you can fit. I'll, I'll put a link to Portable Painter as well where, where these are. But uh, each one, these have two, two compartments and these have four compartments. And now that I see these in person, I actually think these four compartment ones would be a little too small for my liking and I probably would use the two compartment ones uh, sooner than I would use these. But it is kind of nice if you want a lot of colors in your palette and it's just like a little day trip or something and you don't need a ton of color and you have smaller brushes <laughs> to fit into those little, those little pans. All right, so that other video and the link that I'm giving you to those should cover the micro palette options. And then I wanted to show you a little bit more about the full size options. So let me first off, just go ahead and close this up. So the full size portable portable palette, uh, it closes like this. And then it has a little thing that holds onto these two halves together. And then it also has an elastic band that goes around where you could put brushes or what I often do is I put this there so that it doesn't run away <laughs> when I am doing that. And then these two are cups for the portable palette, which attach onto the sides really easily, like this and like this. And then you have two, either two water, um, water cups, or you could put your tools in one and water in another. And what is also nice, I don't have a portable brush here with me today, but you can hold your brush there because it has a little offset thing so it won't roll off, which is really super nice. Uh, and then when you open this portion up, you have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 color um, spots here. These are not standard half pans. Um, I've kind of cheated a little bit in um, putting <laughs> putting some paints that were in other half pans, taking them out of the half pan itself, the, the hardened paint, and then shoving them <laughs> into these pans. Um, I don't always recommend that. You might not be able to get it out. Um, but you can pop these little pans out of here. They just have a little sticky circle that's on the back. And these actually come with the custom palettes as well so that you can stick them in with that. I have also used blue tack before for them and it works just fine. Um, so this area here would normally just be a little slot for a portable uh, travel watercolor brush. But these new little pan inserts, there's two different kinds, fit in here with those little sticky dots and then you can expand your color range in here by up to six additional colors. So you could either put three of the single 
things in here and this might be the equivalent of a half pan of paint and this might be the equivalent of a quarter pan roughly I mean that's what it seemed like to me when I was filling these and then these are curved to fit exactly in there and those are the ones that I use because I was putting some of my extra colors here and they kept popping out because um, I would just pour it into this little thing and then it would dry and then it would pop out because this is sort of a slick surface and it doesn't hold on to the color very well. So I would continually open it and have <laughs> paint all over the place. So this was sort of a revelation to me because I don't necessarily carry my um, portable brush that I'm using in here. And also I usually carry more than one. So that's how that is. Actually, I do have a portable brush because here's the little bag for the portable painter. I think this is actually an add-on, but I may have bought it as part of a set with this. I can't remember. Um, but that keeps it nice and cozy, and it is cushioned, just in case you don't want it to get dinged around too much. Uh, this is a portable brush uh, number eight from Case for Making in San Francisco. This is a synthetic, but as you can see, put that brush there, there super nice and if you don't have the new custom pans this would fit almost perfectly into that slot there but like I said I can just put it into the little bag that is with that or you know have a separate little case for my watercolor brushes but I just wanted to show you these because I had actually I had not really been paying attention to the fact that uh, the portable painter people were um, working on these and I was actually struggling struggling trying to figure out how I could come up with a solution like this for myself and basically I just gave up on it so this came at the perfect time for me because I was really trying to figure out how to use this palette more um, as you can see it's not very used I have used it a few times but not a whole lot and as you can see this has I made a new little swatch once I put these in here um, I have a combination of brands. I have some Sennelier, some Schmincke, um, some Daniel Smith. Uh, I have an Isero, a Shinhan Pass, and Rembrandt. So it's kind of all over the place as far as brands. And I'm a big fan of mixing whatever brand uh, you like the color for. So, you know, if, if you think they go well in a palette together, don't be limited by brand. So here I have Sennelier Lemon Yellow. I have Schmincke Titanium Gold Ochre, which is a little bit opaque. And actually I included that here to serve instead of something like a Naples Yellow that is opaque as well. Um, it, it is essentially, you, you could use this interchangeably with a Naples Yellow and it, Titanium Gold is really nice. Uh, so this one is Sennelier French Vermilion, Sennelier Carmine, and these Sennelier paints that are in here are actually the pan form of the paints. I did not uh, get them from a tube. They were actually pretty loose in their existing pans and they do fit pretty perfectly in here for the most part. Some, <laughs> some don't always fit as perfectly, but basically I just kind of shoved them in there and they fit. Um, this one is Rembrandt Oxide Red Light, Sennelier Warm Sepia, uh, Sennelier Forest Green, this was initially to use all of my Sennelier paints and I had Sennelier in here exclusively at one point, but then I wanted to mix it up because some Sennelier paints, paints I don't particularly care for. But this is Schmincke Glacier Green. This is Daniel Smith Cerulean. This is Sennelier Thalo Blue, Sennelier Ultramarine Blue, Daniel Smish, Daniel Schmish. That's a good, that's a good uh, new name for Daniel Smith. Uh, this is Daniel Smith Payne's Gray Blue. And then this is Daniel Smith Cobalt Teal Isero Mindy Green, which has a little bit of sparkle in it. It's basically um, like a green gold with a little bit of sparkle. This is Shinhan Pass's Shell Pink. This is pretty opaque. And this Shinhan Pass is a mix of it's sort of like a hybrid um, gouache and watercolor. And I'm noticing that it has shrunk a lot since I put it in here. I think it does have either a lot of water or binder that evaporates. I've, and this is upon a second fill. So the, even though the Shinhan pa Pass colors are really, really cheap, you know, you, you get what you pay for ultimately with most things, right? Um, this, But I love the color and it works great for painting. So don't let that deter you. This is Daniel Smath. Sm Daniel Smath. <laughs> 
I'm so sorry, Daniel Smith. Okay, this is Daniel Smith Quinn Lilac, Rembrandt Cobalt Violet, and then Daniel Smith Potter's Pink. And so now I have quite a few colors in here. I have 18, right? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Math is not my strong suit. So now there are 18 colors in here, and I think this is going to work much better for me as far as actually using this palette because the palette itself is great. Um, it's really, really convenient. One of the really nice things about this palette, these do go down in a particular order, is the two water cups. Um, and it sits up, you can either put it down on a surface and have it sit up off the ground, or you can put this on your knee and not have a surface at all. And I think uh, not everybody's knee will fit, obviously. Some will be too small, some will be too big. Um, but this does fit on my knee uh, or my thigh, and you can just hold it there, and then um, everything will be held upright while you paint outdoors. And I'm hoping to use this more in that way in the future. But I just wanted to show you how these new um, custom pans from Portable Painter can really add some uh, versatility to both the micro, which I've shown you, oop, <laughs> and the full size with these little pans that go in the brush slot. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. Feel free to subscribe to keep track of future videos on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. I hope to see you next time, but in the meantime, have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.